Valerie Thomas was born in Maryland in 1943. As a child, she had a passion for technology. After watching her father mess around with the mechanical parts inside of the television set and then her reading a book, it was called The Boy's First Book on Electronics, it sparked an interest in a career in science at the age of eight. Her all-girls high school did not encourage her to pursue science and math classes, but that didn't stop her from pursuing her dreams. Thomas graduated high school and enrolled into Morgan State University, where she was one of two women majoring in physics. She excelled in her science and mathematic courses, graduated college, and went on to work for NASA. Valerie accepted a position as a data analyst, and then after establishing herself within the agency, she was asked to manage the Landsat project which is an image processing system that would allow a satellite to transmit images from space. In 1976, Thomas attended an exhibition that demonstrated an illusion. The exhibit used concave mirrors to fool the viewer into believing that a light bulb was still lit even after it had been removed from its socket. Thomas was fascinated by what she saw and became curious as to how light and concave mirrors could be used in her work at NASA. In 1977, Valerie Thomas began researching and experimenting with both flat mirrors and concave mirrors. Unlike flat mirrors, which provides a reflection of an object that appears to be inside or behind the glass surface, concave mirrors create reflections that appear to be real or in front of the mirror itself, providing the illusion that they exist in a three-dimensional manner. On October 21st, 1980, she obtained the patent for the Illusion Transmitter, which is a device that is used to send messages from space to Earth. The device produces optical illusion images by way of concave mirrors. Valerie retired from NASA in 1995. However, NASA continues to use the Illusion Transmitter to this very day. It has since been used during surgeries as well as during the production of television and video screens. These days, Valerie serves as a mentor for the youth through the National Technical Association as well as the SMART program. SMART stands for Science, Mathematics, Aerospace Research, and Technology. I am Dr. Valerie L. Thomas. I'm the president of SMART, which stands for Science, Mathematics, Aerospace Research, and Technology. SMART's been around for over 30 years, and what we do is we collaborate with NASA and Department of um, Physics and Astronomy at Howard University, um, Howard Human Science Center, uh, local schools, etc., to bring to young people information about science, science and technology. And we focus on things that are occurring in the universe, and that's why it's very important to um, collaborate with NASA and the Department of Physics at Howard, Physics and Astronomy at Howard.